Hey everyone, today we're going to go over the life cycle of a butterfly and do a science experiment that goes along with it. So where do butterflies come from? Well, just like how mommies have babies, butterflies lay eggs. They lay eggs on plants, usually the leaves of plants. And inside those little eggs are little baby caterpillars that are growing bigger and bigger. Once the caterpillars are big enough and ready, they're going to hatch from the eggs. And since they were in the eggs for so long, they were super hungry. So as soon as they get out of the eggs, they're going to start eating the leaves that they were on and all the leaves around them. Once they eat, they're going to start to grow bigger and bigger. Eventually, they're ready for their chrysalis stage. So they went from an egg to a caterpillar and now the chrysalis. So during the chrysalis stage, they are going to wrap themselves in a cocoon. They're going to wrap themselves that they're that. They can stay inside and save for a while because inside they are going to be going through changes. And these changes are called is called metamorphosis, which means they're going to change form. So before he went into the chrysalis, he was a caterpillar. And after a little bit of time inside the chrysalis, he is going to come out as something new because he changed while he was in there. He changed into a butterfly. Now that he's a butterfly, he's going to do butterfly things, such as fly around and going to flowers, and then eventually lay eggs and start the cycle all over again. So today, going along with our caterpillar and butterfly lesson, we are going to make a caterpillar grow using a balloon. Um, the only balloons I had at my house say happy birthday, so we're going to use that. You're going to use some vinegar, some baking soda. Um, you're going to need a marker to draw on your balloon, a spoon to scoop everything. And you're going to, if you have a funnel, I recommend using a funnel because we are going to be putting baking soda into our balloon. I actually do not have a funnel. I'm going to put it inside of my tall toothpick holder that Disney had told me it was. Um, and I'm going to insert my balloon in there and I'm going to open uh, up my balloon to see if I can put it in a little bit easier that way since I do not have a funnel. And most importantly, you're going to need a tall clear bottle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my caterpillar on my balloon. I actually already did that. So it's going to be a little bit tricky um, since the balloon likes to move around, but you're going to draw a caterpillar that he will soon grow. And then once you're done, you're going to open up your vinegar and you're going to pour it right into your um, container. This is where your funnel may come handy. My vinegar inside my container. I put my balloon inside here and I'm going to try to put some baking soda inside and then I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, now I have vinegar inside my container and baking soda inside of my balloon. So I, uh, you're going to expand and stretch out the opening and you're going to put it over the top of your water bottle. Um, you're going to try to align your pitcher with the front of whichever is going to be the front of your bottle. Also, let's think about our past experiments with vinegar and baking soda. So what happens when we mix these two together? When we mix these two together, we usually see some bubbles. And remember, bubbles are full of air and they're always trying to rise to the top. So since um, they are going to mix at the bottom, because when I lift up the balloon, all the baking soda is going to fall to the bottom and mix with the vinegar. The bubbles are going to rise up, up, and up, but then they're going to get trapped. And the only place they're going to go, going to um, have to go, is into the balloon. So let's see what happens when the air gets trapped into the balloon. Ready? Set? Pretty cool, right? So now that my little tiny caterpillar, oh my God, it's getting kind of big. Now that my little tiny caterpillar has grown up, he can now become, which was supposed to be, a butterfly. So happy birthday, butterfly, because you just grew up and went through metamorphosis because he went through changes. You can't really see my, my caterpillar, can you? So that was pretty cool, right? 
just like how we blow balloons up with the air from our lungs, these bubbles from the chemical reaction blew up the air with its bubbles. I mean, blew up the balloon with its bubbles. Pretty cool, right?